Before mounting, remove the stylus protective coating and wipe off all traces of oil and debris. This ensures the stylus surface is clean and ready for the alignment process. There are two choices for the TS27R stylus. The standard disc stylus and the alternative square stylus, available from your Renish or supplier. The stylus and stylus holder are supplied pre-assembled. They're secured together with a single grub screw. The brake stem is designed to brake at its weakest point. This protects the TS27R from damage in the event of excessive stylus over travel. The captive link is designed to hold onto the stylus and prevent it from becoming lost in the machine. Fit the brake stem to the probe body with the supplied captive link. Use the supplied 5mm spanner to tighten up the brake stem. Mount the stylus holder onto the brake stem using the single grub screw so that the stylus top surface is parallel to the machine table. Use the support bar to prevent overstressing the brake stem. Bend the captive link into place and secure it using the supplied cap head bolt. Align the stylus to the spindle axis plane so that there's less than 5 microns of runout across the surface in each direction. One method for aligning the stylus to the spindle axis plane is to mount a dial test indicator to the spindle nose of the machine then drive the machine backward and forward in each axis to see the alignment error. The back to front error is adjusted out by rotating the cap head bolts. These bolts are opposing and lock against each other. Loosen one before tightening the other. For example, to lower the front edge of the stylus, Rotate the bottom bolt anti-clockwise and the top bolt clockwise. This should be adjusted so that less than 5 microns of error is seen across the surface. The side to side adjustment is provided by the two grub screws mounted on the top of the TS27R body. These grub screws oppose each other and require one to be loosened while the other is tightened. This can be an iterative process. Finally, check that all the mount screws are fully tightened. This prevents the stylus from moving out of alignment once aligned to the spindle axis plane. Recheck the stylus alignment after tightening.